Hi, I'm Anne Griffin, and I'm the author of Smashy McPurder and the Mystery of Room 11. I have such a clear memory of that. I was, um, I couldn't wait to go to school because it was actually a poem. I had a poem in my head, and somehow I thought I had to wait till I got to school to have it committed to paper. And the poem was called Winter Fun. So that was my earliest memory, that, like the first day of kindergarten, I wrote out the poem that I had been saving from when I was supposed to write things, which was in my mind kindergarten. It went like this. Winter is very fun for me. If it's snowing, you will see. I like to slide on my sled. There really is nothing to dread. I like to slide down the hills if I'm not sick and have to take pills. My favorite part of the book is just being with those characters. I just completely enjoyed that class of children and their teacher and I just, it was a sunny time of writing for me, which is not always the way writing is for me. <laughs> Um, but I just really enjoyed Smashy and Dantel and the other kids in the class, and so it was fun for me to hang out with them. So I would say being with the characters. I think a kid who likes thinking, who likes words, who likes laugh, like funny books. This will sound cheesy, and it wasn't given to me directly, but I always, I read, um, the first time I read To Kill a Mockingbird, and Atticus says to not judge anyone till you've walked a mile in their shoes. I remember really being blown away by that, like, oh, yeah. Like, you really do have to understand what it's like for other people. Um, and that f felt very transformative to me when I read it, whenever, whenever that was. Um, writing advice is, just keep writing and just don't plot so much because I tend to be a bit of a plotzer. So being told not to was useful. Well, I think I was happy with my first book, which was a YA, that anyone responded at all. Do you know what I mean? Because I had that feeling, and I still have it to some degree. I'm always afraid someone's going to feel made to read my book, like I'm selling Tupperware, and I made you come to my house, and you have to buy Tupperware at my house, and you have to read my book. So I just have, I don't know, I feel weird. But so um, getting notes from actual teenagers who had read the book meant a lot to me, just to feel like it had... Um, it had worked for them in some way or helped them in some way or they had enjoyed it just was very moving to me to feel that they hadn't been forced to read it and it all went okay. I would want to fly. I cannot think of anything more fun than flying and I am so envious of birds and I think it would be great. Mm -hmm.